It's been so long since we actually did one of these that I completely... Not much has happened. Balled up at that last crossroad. Oh, mercy me! You okay? Here, let me just... Is this it? You must have dropped it when I bumped into you. I really like her theme song. Is her... Is she, is she, is she trying to do a southern accent or what? Like a Texas accent. So yeah. Yeah. Kinda. Like maybe Oklahoma, you know? Well, she's supposed to be from Texas. You said the village, right? Think I could tag along with you? It definitely reminds me of like Oklahoma. Maybe South Oklahoma. You're probably right. <laughs> Quite close. I only really know that one because I was in Oklahoma. I, I've been in Oklahoma, so I, like, I know how to do it. Oh. Give or take. As in the musical, not in the state. <laughs> She's already memorized the dress, hasn't she? <laughs> I'm coming from. <laughs> oh, uh, you all right? Sorry about that. Yeah, Dangan Rumpa has Tokugawa face. as a character, and I'm just like triggered. But you know who the Tokugawa <laughs> clan is, right? A name that is. If it's if it's much like in Dangan Rumpa, yeah, yes. Sunrise, so that's who, of course, was a. Uh, you know, the leaders of, I guess you can say, what is now uh, Tokyo, but it was called Edo back then. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a lot of Japanese influence in this game. It sort of shines through. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was made originally in Japan, but um, I think it was interesting because they made it over there, but they tried to put on this American influence. But still incorporate yeah. a lot of their Japanese influence, which is, and there's even Greek influence, which I will tell you about that later. Yeah, Ooh. it's really good. I, I really got into the story. Ah, no, quick googling, quick googling. I got my names mixed up. It's been a while since I played Danganronpa. Oh, but I knew I recognized Tokugawa, and it's because I have also studied. The single could you die? So, Warring States period, the Tokugawa clan. So that's where I recognise it from. Not Danganronpa. I apologise. Oh, okay. I'm bad at yeah, this. Yeah, I was gonna say that. That's the Tokugawa uh, clan from the the Warring States. Yeah, I've triggered about thirty people in the comments. <laughs> I just know it. <laughs> like, how dare you get your Japanese mythology <laughs> wrong? I bet you don't even speak Japanese. <laughs> To reference something that nobody will get. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this bit isn't voice acted. No, no, you have to read everything. They kind of go on and off with that. Uh. So I'm thinking maybe the next one that I do, I have to pick something with a lot of voice acting, I feel. Well, for me, it's like... Uh, Shuri, some weirdo just broke into the apartment! <laughs> it's either the... I, I like games that have voice acting, and I like games hey that there, don't. Hey stranger. You, you can't just go barging into people's houses. But it's like... It's like, um... I think it would be, um... Shut up! Like, we take care of it, and it's ours! 
I don't mind a game that has no voice acting, but I don't like games that have partial voice acting. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, it's not that I don't like them, but it's not. I prefer them, if that makes sense. It, it can be a little annoying. Because it's like... It's like the, um... Sitting here going like you're a cheeky one. So you're into girls like I am. If I if I'm if I'm if I'm playing a game with different characters and it isn't voice acted but it's got text and stuff, I'll give them all my own voices. And I bet he's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't do that for this. Don't let him come any closer, Cherry. I bet he's a predator. Was this one of the ones you fucked up? <laughs> so, Sorry, cutie. You just um, got rejected in a big way. <laughs> I didn't recognize it the first time, <laughs> but definitely, and I'm, it might be in one of the video clips uh, in the next episode. Uh, hey, Gemini, what took you so long? Did you meet up with the new guy? That's when I realized her, she sure is this either is gay or. Or just something, but yeah, I, I didn't realize that till later on. That I was like, oh, she's not into me at all, in any way. She likes Cherry. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, no skin off my nose. Glad to meet you, Tiger. I'm Cherry. Cherry And I can't believe that's her name. I take care of the watering hole at our humble little lip theater. Cherry Cocker. Cherry. What kind of name is that? This little firecracker works at the theater too. Henri. <laughs> no comment. See? No comment. Sorry, I was so mean to you before. There. All oh. better. We'll be seeing a lot of each other, so we gotta get along. Oh yeah. I was told to give this to the new guy when he got here. It's your theater uniform and a pocket watch. I feel like the room. premise is a little absurd, oh, but yeah. I love it anyway. Yeah. Of this game, it, it slowly builds up. I will say it gets really good by the second episode, which we might get into by the third here. episode. I'm not sure. We should really get back to the theater. Yeah. Jiminy, why don't you take the rookie here and show him around the city? It, I, I'm finding it. I'm finding it. Sure thing. In the, in the in the ironic We're sense of the word, I'm finding it really triggering <laughs> that they're calling her Gemini. I was surprised by that too. That her name was Gemini. Gemini, can you? Not I know. Read? It's Gemini. <laughs> oh. Like even e like I I could get it if it was like an Americanism that like the British call it one you know say it one way and like garage and garage, but. Yeah, in this instance, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> you both, we both say, we both say Gemini. <laughs> it's like. So, so let me yeah. ask you a quick question. When you guys play games over there, is it in mm -hmm. British English? Because I gotta tell you, um, games in the U.S. I mean, for the most part, it's in American English. But when it's British English, yeah, they're definitely not changing. So is it? <laughs> do, you, do you guys get both so, or or just one? A lot of the time, it's American English. Ah, huh, okay. Um, or as I would call it, international English. Hmm. All right then. Mostly because they'll just use the same. I mean, half the time. I mean, why should you have to translate it? <laughs> the UK and Europe. I mean, it's just you know pick one or the other. Hopefully people can figure out that some words are going to be spelled with S's and U's and... Yeah. There have been a few cases, though, like, in some, like, point-and-click adventure games. Yeah. Where it's been, like, the solution has been like, you've got to, like, type in like, I, I don't know, if the puzzle's like you've got to type oh, in... Oh, you've got to type in a word five... but you can't use your British English or something? Well, I, I was thinking of I was thinking of one that's like, um, you know, um, it's like it's it's like you've got to type in the five different items you see, and one of them is like um, 
five letters followed by three letters. Um, and the answer is jelly jar. And in the UK, we call it a jam jar. Because uh. it's jam, not jelly. Right. Jelly is jello. Yeah. And it's like... Ah, ah, ah. It, it, I, those like take me like forever to figure out because I'm just sitting here going, I can't fit the word jam jar in it. What what, what is it? Glass jar? <laughs> uh, that would suck. Um, uh, uh, ah, yeah. It's only re- only when I realise, you know, about three hours later. Uh... <laughs> and it'll be like it'll be like click here to get a hint, and it'll be like type in what you see. I'm like, uh, I have done. So here's when I kind of realized you know? my responses sort of matter. <laughs> I totally screamed out her name rather than like spoke quietly in the library. Ah. See? Rip. I was being rude. So kind of like every time you hear that you negative, thrive. like sort of like sound, that's pretty much when you know you've messed up. <laughs> can, I, can I just like get a button for that that just plays that sound? Oh, that would be great. <laughs> just so I can like boop and then it just plays it. And of course, that's a happy sound. So I think in this scene, I think she's just really showing me around the city. Yeah. But the question is, will she show you where all the strip <laughs> The real question is, will she show you where all the casinos are? Huh? Casinos? Or is it, or is it more like, um, is it more like the US rather than England? Yeah, not too many casinos, I think, in New York. I actually have no idea. I've always wanted to go to New York. I've been. Eh. Unfortunately, I was visiting family, so. So. I really want to get out of this country just for like a week or so, you know? Yeah. Uh, Again, I can't believe her name is Ratchet. Yeah. Like, like who's, who's, who's going to come along next? <laughs> also, why doesn't Gemini have a twin? Oh my gosh. You're right. <laughs> I'm disappointed in this game. Or Gemini. Is she named after a? Is she named after a, a a case in like Latin, the Geminate case? Um. Well, there is some Greek influence, so there's a possibility. Subaru saw the new guy. He's Japanese, is he not? Good timing. Let me introduce you to our other Japanese member. I'm Subaru Kujo of the Star Division. I like her themed music as well. Just call me Subaru. Okay, Miss Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) 
<laughs> as far as I'm concerned, male or female is nothing more than a difference of organs. Subaru is simply Subaru. Nothing so more, nothing less. So she's bisexual. You think so? Like every, every time I've come across somebody who said male or female is just a matter of organs or something, I'm just I'm sitting here going, "Yeah, you're bisexual, aren't you?" <laughs> is it, so with our whole recent, I guess, classification of genders. What do you think she would be? Subaru, Lieutenant Tiger comes to us from the Imperial Assault. Oh, is she? Oh, I, I must have missed it. I must have missed the line. Was she talking about herself then? Yes, she does also talk in the third person as well. Oh. Oh. Don't worry about it. Let's go before the elevator leaves without. I mean, I feel like they might be non-binary. I mean, I I could be completely overthinking all of this, you know. Yeah. I thought Karen was in the dress. I mean, this game. I feel like they might be non-binary, in Maybe which case, woo, binary represent. Yeah. I just. Somewhere. That came out totally wrong. I meant non-binary represent. What the fuck? <laughs> <am I doing? laughs> represent the binary less. It's like. Uh, oh. I don't get to see many by gender characters. Now she's cool. I, I like her. Yo, kid. She looks what like a lawyer. Doing? She is. Visitors aren't allowed in here. How, how could I tell? <laughs> it just so happens I am. Who's asking? Is it bad that she reminds me of you? It's not bad. You I, I actually like her um answer, her story a lot. Lose, kid. Get back to the auditorium. Or we'll have so, Sakura Wars is broken that... up into, um, I think, ten chapters? And so, Horse Stories is chapter two, and I thought it was really good. Yeah, yeah, that's what everyone says. You're what? My biggest fan? My one true love? So, let's hear it. Yeah, <laughs> she's hard to impress. Why are you back here? Uh... You here to make off with a few souvenirs? Calm down, Karen. He's not a fan. He's our new employee, Shinjiro Taiga. I do think that what? You're joking, Roger McCall right? is this little red? probably non-binary. I think is you think anyone would have been thinking about Sunny stuff like that Slime when they he knows he'll get busted for came out with this game. Possibly, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe they just left it to be yeah. ambiguous, you know. I mean, I think it's cool because now, lawyer, when playing you know, this, I won't stand by and let him disrespect the You can think about stuff like that. Let's go. Yeah. If you don't help, I might just have you arrested and deported. Yeah. I mean, I, I always like to see, like I say, you know, like as as somebody who identifies as non-binary, I always like to see non-binary representation or. Representation that isn't necessarily binary, if that makes sense. Yeah. Hey, or sunny, sunny, breaking, you know, breaking like down, what do you, think you're doing? you know, stereotypes and tropes. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Why, hello there, Karen. What's up your butt today? Don't you know there are laws against putting thirteen-year-olds to work? <laughs> Angry lawyer woman. <laughs> I'm dumb as a doorknob. <laughs> and like, I'm, I'm getting like flashbacks stupid. to. Like law and oh. order. <laughs> the law if we don't respect it. Angry Just lawyer woman. It isn't enough. I will not stand uh. by as my employer brazenly commits felonies left and right. <laughs> Literally. Looks like we're in deep doo doo here, kid. <laughs> I never know what to answer. I get so nervous. <laughs> I would have gone for the bottom <laughs> one personally, but What? Stop yanking my chain! Sunnyside, what's this kid's deal? It's true. I felt we needed a little youth and leadership. You felt 
Besides, he comes highly recommended by Commander Ogami himself. You better not be taking me for a freaking ride here. No freaking ride. I'm serious. But we might be taking so you for a freaking little... ride around town in chapter oh, two. Is... <laughs> so they sent us some half-grown greenhorn? I hope you kept the receipt. <laughs> the way I understood it, Commander Ogami himself was coming. This is a clear breach of contract. I love how everything is in lawyer speak and it's my favourite thing. <laughs> so why don't we pack this one up, send him back and get the commander over here, huh? Chop chop, get it done. I'm out of here. And there she goes. Hmm. She is so grumpy. <laughs> Her boiling point is like <laughs> absolute zero. <laughs> We requested that the Imperial Assault Force send their best warrior. Is that you? No. Since our organization is so new, we need a really strong leader, you know? If you're asking for the truth, uh, yeah, pretty much. So... Kind of to go back to what you said, even though I'm not fully sure if they were trying to pick a certain gender, um, yeah. I do appreciate a different trope. Why the long face? We've been looking all over yeah. for you. Like, I mean, if nothing else, it's, it's, so a lot of the games that, how to word it, so I think about a lot of like the narrative, narrative driven games that I, I, you know. I play slash say? have played, we were the and You're just this is more that. women than or like more like strong and powerful women than all of them combined. Oh much. yeah, I like the women in this game, and I'm like, yes, this is this is diversity. This is good. Don't be foolish, Lieutenant. Rip. Yeah, I know. Use your sense of duty, your dignity. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every time you fail. I I fell a lot in this game. <laughs> so what? You're just gonna crawl back to Japan? Uh. Listen, Lieutenant. This is America. We are nothing if not practical. So if you you're really nothing. want to be part of the team, just prove that you can be useful. Yep. Passion is great and all, but it's useless without results. In America, everyone has a shot at making it big, but they have to earn it. So find a way to make your mark. And if you can't, we'll just have to call up the commander. Anyway, there's no time to teach you the ABCs of America. If I don't hurry. Sorry, but I have to get going. Gotta get ready for the next performance. You should come watch us and figure out how you might be able to fit in. it's a little odd that they're kind of like a performing troop but uh, they also fight <laughs> yeah yes you are Yeah. <laughs> a, 
have, have they never heard the, heard of the golden rule of theater? Never work with animals or children. Really? That's the golden rule? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the power of a New York musical. So believe it or not, it wasn't up to like this point that slowly I actually got some gameplay in. <laughs> yeah. It's been a bit, uh... Gameplay light. Yeah. With the part of trying to, the, you know, like, select the right answers. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think this is, uh, slowly when we'll see the, uh, battle sequences pretty soon. But it's definitely in episode 3, I believe. I know. Every time. She's tough, I'm telling you. She also has very unusual poses. Yeah. Very much reminds me of, like, every time she does that, like, finger out, head, hand behind head thing, I think I just imagine she's shouting the word of <laughs> you into the conference room. Your orders are to clean up the theater. Cleanliness is of the highest importance. You have your orders, Lieutenant. Thank you. 